I'm heading up to the hardware store now. Uh, my wife went to went on Amazon the other day and got a couple of uh, brick holders, three and a half inches. Uh, my boat has a lot of uh, drink holders, but there's nothing up at the helm seat. So I'm constantly putting bottles of water and stuff up on my dash, and they fall off and hit me in the foot and whatever. It's just annoying. So I'm going to go see. There's always this little ledge that I put that I put drinks on, and I want to go drill a hole in it and uh, stick this uh, holder in there and see what happens. So I'm heading up to the hardware store. Shit, I forgot my drill. Heading up to the hardware store right now to grab a three and a half inch old saw, and then I gotta head back home and grab the drill. Um, so I will. I'm almost at the store now, and I'll get back to you in a second. All right, my wife wants hers to be in this area right here, so that'll fit nicely in there. I'm just gonna trace around that, find center, and then drill my hole. Over here, I wanted mine to be right here. But now that I can see the height, the height wouldn't be so bad because I think I think everything for the spotlight is below this line. So the height wouldn't be bad. The only problem is it's just too it's just too big. The ledge is too small. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is this is kind of where I throw my drinks anyways. Um, I had this this little suction cup. Uh, type drink holder that I would you know, stick on here but of course it was too high so you had to kind of you know get everything in like this in here but um, but for the most times I just have it here and then if I hit a wave or something go forward it, you know launches so I think what I'll do is I will put mine right here and this space is over the top of my aft cabin and it's really there's nothing there's nothing back there uh, that I can you know there's just a big cavity right there, so I think that's where I'm going to put mine. So I'm going to grab the drill and mark out these holes and get after it. Well, that one came out good. This one came out real good. Fits in there nice. Everything's good to go. Nice compression fitting, so I don't even need to put any glue down or anything. It won't pop out. I was thinking about it, and over here just isn't going to work. First of all, because I take this all down to get the drill to go down straight in here, and I don't want to do that. Um, so what I've decided to is I pulled this out, and I can see that I have, you know, a good half inch, half three quarter inch of play there. So when I put this flush, I'm not even I'm not even to the hole yet. So I know I have room. Oh, if this is sitting here. Now the problem was the overhang. Okay, so what I did was I went home and I ground off, I ground off this flat area. So I'm gonna, when it goes in, it's going to go up against this area, and then this part will be. I think it. I think once it's down in the hole, it'll be fine. If I have to maybe just bend this to conform around this this radius here, I may do that. But we'll see. We'll see how close I get when I drill this hole and then uh, we'll go from there. Um, the hole saw that I have is exactly three and a half inches, which this is, so it doesn't actually fit in the hole. I have to actually uh, take a file and, and kind of clean up around the edges to get it to fit. So with that being said, if I can get the hole, you know, within, you know, a sixteenth of an inch of where it needs to go, I can file out the area if I needed to move this way or this way or this way or this way. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and tape this off real quick and draw my lines and start drilling. Let me try this again. I just filmed freaking five minutes with the, the lens in my face instead of on my work. Um, I got the hole drilled out. It went fairly easy. No big deal. Measurement was correct. I got it back as far as I want, but I see the where I, where I cut it flat in the back. I have it just turned a little bit too far this way so I gotta pop it out and turn it back this way a little bit because I have a little bit of a gap here and nothing here so that part right there is hanging up on this radius so I just got to turn a little bit but that'll do it and then this little gap right here I don't think I'm worried about if I really want to I can take like a, a rubber mallet or something and just kind of maybe just tap on this a little bit to try to get it to curve a little bit more to follow that but for that little teeny tiny gap I'm not really worried about it Plus, when I get this turned and push it down, that might even, because it's gapped right here too, so that might that might 
go away a little bit. But I think that'll do it. I'm just going to clean this all up and uh, get this going. And then I'll come back on when we are um, taking off. So I'll talk to you. through here uh, this bridge up in front of us is uh, highest on the left hand side and lowest on the right hand side and I have to hug this wall over here on the left hand side and just gets just gets by that radar so I'm gonna have Alon hold the camera and show how close we get because it was like four inches the other night feet on your left. A rinker that I saw uh, getting towed the other day, huh? Oh, yeah, that's the uh, oh, former Commodore.
good there? Yeah. All right, perfect. Thanks, man. What's up? How you doing? Good. Good to see you. This is the. Uh, Oh yeah! The man got it right that time. Pouring, pouring, pouring rain. I came down here to turn on, uh, to put the canvas on the boat, and I got the last six inches of zipper on the canvas, and the rain shut off like a light switch. <laughs> That's the way it goes, though. So now it doesn't look like it's gonna rain for another couple hours or whatever. But we got canvas up, and now we're gonna come over here on my port side. There, we're gonna go tie up on that wall and go in there and have some dinner. So I'll show you what I do coming into a, a straight wall like this. A lot of people come in parallel and just try to, you know, slide in, but you have way more control if you go bow in first. And that way, if you get in trouble, you can always just put the boat in reverse and get away from the wall. If you're parallel to the wall and the wind takes over and starts pulling you in, then you try to hit reverse or forward you're gonna smack your bow or your stern against the dock. So I'll just show you real quick here. We're just gonna come in here and uh, go bow in. And once I get my bow real close, I'm just gonna work the throttle or work the gear shifters and keep the bow real close until my wife can uh, grab a hold of one of these uh, poles. And then once she gets her liner on the pole, she'll leave it slack. And I will right off my bow right now is the only one that works. So we're gonna go to it. And then what I do is, I'm not completely 90, 90 degrees, but I'm close. So I get my bow in real close like this. I'm in neutral. And then once I get real close here, I'll back it down. I get them both in reverse to so stop the boat. While I'm in reverse, I'll leave the port one in reverse. And then get the boat turning. And now I can just keep the bow with small little adjustments in and out of, in and out of gear. I can keep the boat real close just come along parallel next to it, real nice and easy, at the last minute, I just hit the reverse on the starboard side, and we'll come in slide sideways, nice and easy. Now my transom, my stern is right up against the cleat, and then, and that's it. So now we're going to go eat dinner, see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, that was another good weekend we had here. Um, weatherman said it was supposed to rain all day yesterday and uh, it didn't, it was good. Had a little bit of a downpour for maybe half an hour yesterday and then it got nice. So we had a really nice, nice uh, weekend on the wall in Tonawanda. And then today it was pouring rain at about, I don't know, 9 o'clock in the morning and right around 10 o'clock it quit. So we all jumped on our boat, went over to have some breakfast, and now it's starting to drizzle again, so we're gonna head home, pack it up for the weekend. It's uh, almost noon. So it's a good weekend. I'm gonna go home and edit this, edit these videos and see what I got on it, because I don't even remember what I was filming. I think I got a couple docking and some other stuff like that, but. So uh, I don't know, see what we get into tomorrow. I got, uh, I got some work coming up we gotta do. I'm probably gonna get the camera out for that and show a little bit of that but catch you guys the next one uh, hit the like button rate comment subscribe and have a great day